tomorrow Yeah, me like it Every time you wake up Stunning with no makeup Me like it How you call my name up Got me feeling way up Me like it Haters trying to break us Them know they can shake us Me like it Baby, me no chaser Get ready to take off Okay, yeah Up, up and away Hey folks, and welcome back to another day, to another video. If you're new here, my name is Dee and I make lifestyle content, including vlogs, reviews, and everything in between. But today I'm coming to you to introduce today's vlog, which I'm super excited about, and that's all about South Africa. My husband and I are in South Africa for a honeymoon this week, and we're super stoked to be here. If I'm looking bummy, if I'm looking crusty, if I'm looking like I haven't showered in two days, it's because I haven't, I am, and I do, okay? We are in this sick apartment, okay? We thought we were staying in a hotel room and the woman's like, all right, well, we get here. And the woman's like, oh, are you staying in the hotel or the apartments? They're in the same building, but like, which one are you staying in? And I just said the hotel because I just assumed it was a hotel. No. They set us up in this like executive suite sort of situation. So when I say they, I'm talking about a travel company called The Real South Africa. And I'll talk about them, kind of like the logistics of our trip after all of the kind of actual trip footage and vlogs and stuff. Cause I think I'm gonna do maybe two parts to the South Africa vlog. But I think we're gonna chill out for the rest of the day, get our, get our bearings and then I'll check back in later. Hubs. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, it's the plant. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> We haven't even been here for 24 hours and I already love it here. The food, and mind you, we haven't gone to like kind of big restaurants and stuff yet, but the food here is just so tasty and my stomach loves it. And it's also cheap, like, so they use Rand here, R-A-N-D. And just to kind of give you some perspective. We got wings, I got eight wings. He got a burger and fries, a milkshake, and I got like a, cordial type of drink where it was like passion fruit juice and ginger ale and our total with a tip okay with tip was like $23 $23 whereas if we were in the states it probably would have cost twice as much or at least $10 yeah we met the Blantons who are the who's the couple that whose company we use to kind of put our itinerary together great couple great people they're from the states as well so they're expats that you know obviously live here and we're in johannesburg if i didn't mention that and we're going to be in johannesburg all week so no cape town no Dur Dur durban i can't remember the name i'm just so fascinated by so much so one thing i wanted to do the blanton's got us or i guess not the blanton's but there's this like little dessert situation going on and i'm about to break into it because this is an indulgent trip for me I got my lactate pills right next to me that I'm about to pop on, pop in, so I can truly enjoy these little desserts. So we're gonna try them together. Don't mind all of the crap, okay? We, we still have to kind of put stuff away and, and all that, but so there's like cords and just crap everywhere. Oh, look at this. Smells good. I have no idea what these are. I guess just like a plethora of little sponge cakes, but we're gonna try some. 
I'm just, actually, I'm gonna grab a knife. Oh, I can't really find a knife, so I'm just gonna cut them with my fork here. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, gosh. I just tasted that. It's cheesecake. So the first one I'm gonna try is a cheesecake. Cheers. Mmm. 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 Okay, next we're gonna try this chocolate one that I think has caramel inside. Yeah, like there's some, or maybe it's a pear. I don't know what that is. Mmm. It's definitely fruit. Super rich in chocolatey. I'm not a chocolate fan, like, at all. And then we got this other kind of, like, layered situation. Same deal. Quite a bit of chocolate, but I like it more than the last thing I just tried. But the cheesecake, that one's really, really good. I don't even know what flavor it is. I'm going to leave y'all here. We have quite a day tomorrow. So I don't know how much I'm going to be talking throughout these vlogs because I really just want to film. And I think I might talk a little bit later when I get back to the States. And my boo and I are super happy to be in South Africa and just it's been wonderful so far and it hasn't even been 24 hours. So if that's indicative of how the trip is going to be, then this could become my home away from home. So now it's on to day two, which was a day in Soweto. Soweto stands for Southwestern Township and is essentially the area where Nelson Mandela is from. Uh, it was really cool to learn more about him because at least I hadn't really learned much about Nelson Mandela in my own schooling in the States. I mean, when it comes to Africa, I feel like all you see are like kids with flies on their faces and you don't really hear much about kind of the influential people that, you know, really kind of had an impact on the community. And Nelson Mandela was one of those. So we saw, you know, lots of animals kind of walking around the streets. It was really cool to kind of see the cows. We ended up at Mandela House, which they had turned into a museum. So it was really cool to learn a lot more about Nelson Mandela, uh, his time in prison, his family, and just kind of the people that he influenced. And also kind of hear the citizens of South Africa talk about him and, and their reverence for him. We also stopped by this really popular Catholic church. Right now I can't remember the name, but I'll pop it up on the screen. And I was able to stand in the places where Nelson Mandela stood and where Michelle Obama stood. And just to kind of hear the story behind the stained glass windows was really cool too. It was a really cool experience. Then we had lunch at a restaurant called 1947, which is owned by a black woman. And I mean, when there's a Hendrix gin umbrella, from the outside of the restaurant, I know I'm in the right place. If you didn't know, I'm a gin girl and Hendrix is my favorite gin. But anyways, as we get into the restaurant and kind of pan around, just kind of getting our bearings, I loved the decor. I mean, if you've seen my little redo of my nook recently, then you know that I'm loving you know yellows and greens and colors like that. I just really love that kind of style. The next thing we did was actually a photo shoot. So this was a part of our itinerary and it was really just to commemorate our trip. So I thought that was kind of cool to be able to look back on those pictures for our trip. <laughs> 